Jets all the way, baby. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, I love the sound of that. All right. Second week of the year. And 11 days, right? 12 days, whatever, to the into the year. And I'm going to address a couple of things at the end of the meeting uh, that we need to address. But obviously, you, you guys are going through some, uh, we are going through some growing pains right now. Would you agree? Yes. 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 Right? Uh, who ever felt the most pressure lately? Be honest. Lately? Lately. A lot of pressure? Managers? Anybody? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All right. Everybody. Everybody? We're actually holding it. Everybody. All right. When you get when the meeting is over, find out how a diamond gets made. I know the right. Yeah. All right. So we're trying to make diamonds here. That's what we're trying to do. So the topic of my meeting today is going to be evolution. All right. And prepared a little bit last night, you know. And basically, believe it or not, almost like. Four out of ten people don't believe it on evolution. Okay? The definition goes like this. It says, in a change of characteristics or species over several generations and relies on the process of natural selection. The theory of evolution is based on the idea. Okay? The only way to change effectively is to evolve, to keep the good parts of you and change the weak ones. History has to prove itself. The change is going to happen automatic, time after time. All of it is survive because you'll be able to evolve and adapt. So basically what it means is that us humans, right, change is going to happen automatic, no matter what. All right? And right now, we go into some growing pain. All right? Even BDC, they're not even allowed to use their cell phone anymore. And think about it, they've been doing it for a whole year. So it's a habit that they created, right, to use their cell phone. Now they can't use their cell phone anymore. So they have to adapt to new habits, right? And yeah, it's, it's a problem, you know, because you don't want to change. You, you like it the way it is, disrupted. You, 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 people don't like that. We don't like that as humans. But to evolve basically means that you're willing to learn, you're willing to do what the others don't do. If you want to have a rocket 2019, we are preparing this place to go to a level that we haven't even think of it, okay? And I like to surround myself with people that want to win as bad as me, okay? And that could be, you know, in, in, in your career, personal, whatever, right? Because we all can help from each other. I learned from you guys a lot actually last year, as much as you guys learned from me. So when you adapt to the new ways, and right, and we're still gonna go with some continue some growing pains, but this is what we said. This is the new way, and this is the way it's gonna go. So in order for us to grow the company, where we're growing, where we're crying all the stuff, and we're looking to other things that, you know, I can't really get into it with you guys right now. This operation has to be a hundred percent operate, okay? In order for us to grow somewhere else. And somebody gave me an advice, said, listen, you cannot buy all the stores unless your first one is efficient, where it runs on itself. Where I don't have to be here, where Bobby doesn't have to be here. So that has part to do with evolution, when you evolve, when you adapt to the new changes. And yes, some of us, we gotta be forced into do it. Some of us don't wanna do it. Some of us are forced to do it, but you want to do it because you want to have a different year. You want to change the way you were doing things. Like I said to you guys in the last meeting, the things that we did great, okay, we're going to continue to do. But it's the things that we didn't do great, okay? We just had a conference uh, a couple of days ago, and the guy on the phone said, typically in the last three years, your worst week is the first week of January. 
but he said, miraculously, you're up 17% this week. Because they, remember, they're looking at all the data that we have. They look at your CRM, they look at your actual IDs. He said, what change? Why is such a big difference, big jump? I said, well, I said, we did some changes. He said, well, you changed a lot because you can tell in the numbers. Now, you guys know I'm a numbers guy. So numbers don't lie, right? People do. So what happens is that now the numbers are just creeping up. All of a sudden, just a little shock change that you guys did on the CRM, on the leads, what Steve is doing in there, numbers are already looking up. So imagine when we get this thing down packed 100%, how we're gonna be efficient. So, yes, I get it. Government shut down, taxes are not even whatever, right? Everybody's scared. So it's projected to be 17 million cars sold this year. 17 million, that's the projection. I'm gonna be in the NBA with Bobby for two weeks, okay? So, the difference is, I'm looking to stay in the car business for a long time. <coughs> not too long, but you know, I'm not gonna go sell burgers tomorrow, is what I'm saying. So, I want my fair share out of that 17 million, okay? It's not gonna be a huge, huge, but if we wanna increase the productivity, which we said we're gonna shoot for 5,000 cars, Right, there's a percentage of that. How to get to the 5,000 cars. And we broke it down already. So we know exactly how much productivity we gotta get out of each individual out of here to get to that 5,000 cars. That's why you're getting a lot of pressure from the managers. That's why you're getting a lot of pressure from upper management. That's why I'm getting pressure from the managers. Right? Because we made a commitment. We said, listen, 2019 is gonna be our year. And it's not about rah-rah or positive this, none of that. It's concrete numbers, legit numbers, okay, that we have to move the needle. We have to. Because you get paid regardless of what the store does, right or wrong. Right? That check keeps coming in every Monday, no matter what. My check is always good. Right? These are the things that I pay attention to. Okay? Payroll gets payroll. So, no matter what, the store gotta be profitable. We're growing, right? It's growing pains. We got a new manager, new FNI addition to the team. We opened a new building today. Some of the guys are gonna be over there today. So we're spending more money in advertising while everybody's saying we're gonna write it out. This is why I like working here. This is why I like working for Bobby and Andy because they're open-minded people and they know that they have to evolve and change in order to get more. So they say, okay, this is the thing, this is what you wanna do, do it. You think it's gonna pay off? I say, yes, it's gonna pay off big time. You go for it. So we're investing all those time, all those things, okay? And you have the tools. It is our job to give you the tools to be successful. But what you do with those tools, is entirely up to you, okay? Because some stores don't believe in the vision. Some stores, those just, they just expect business to come in. It doesn't happen that way. You have to create the business as well. And there's guys here that I'm investing personally my money into them so they can promote themselves. Okay? You don't ask, you don't get it. They come, it's an open loop policy. I don't want to invest in this and that, no problem. Okay? I want to take my Facebook or whatever to the next level, no problem. You got to do it this way, this way, this way. Okay? That goes for everybody. That's why you're allowed to brand yourself if you want to do that. So we're doing a lot of stuff for service, okay? We made a commitment and we said we're gonna go 10 times, right? I spent the entire day filming yesterday. I made 126 videos yesterday, okay? 126 videos. So I have content till the summertime. This is why I tell you guys, people are never gonna catch up. Because I'm relentless. When I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna commit to it and do it. That's just how I operate. I'm disciplined that way, and this is the new way. That's it. So I'm gonna have content. It goes for the same for you guys as well. Their tax refund might not be get this week. I might get it in two weeks. I might get it in six weeks. So who do you think is gonna have the best chance if I'm preaching taxes from day one until week six, until one guy just says decides to post something about it. 
Some of them are gonna say, you know what? That guy keeps coming up with taxes. Let me go see him. What are the chances of that? Right? So put yourself out there. Promote what it is that you're promoting. Okay, we are doing a lot of things here. We're opening departments, okay? The exchange program, the service department. We're gonna sell cars out of that. And we're doing a lot of change out of the service department. We listen, you guys said service, let's do service. So the same thing we did here in 2018, we're doing in service. So you can only imagine the productivity is gonna go up. Sales is gonna go up because of it at the same time. Rohan's already like with a customer over there. So those are the things, the opportunities are gonna come to those of you that wanna work, that wanna put in the time. But not just when you wanna do it, it's every single day. Every single day you take showers, right? Every single day, you have to do it the way that we want it done. The managers are getting a lot of pressure. Don't, don't take it personal from them. The F and I are getting pressure. Don't take it personal, it's their job. This is how they provide for their family. Okay, this is how I provide for my family. So, I have to make certain changes, okay? And everybody's replaceable, including myself. I keep saying that, okay, because it's true. I was comfortable in my last job. And I told you guys what happened. I got fired. And I was making a lot of money. It wasn't about that. Okay? It's about bringing it to the next level. It's about taking this place to a level that we think that it is possible. And you guys, okay? I like to surround myself with people that want to make it happen. Okay? And productivity has to increase. And you'll see the numbers, how it's going to increase from BDC. Okay, we're going through a lot of growing pains in there because everything is changing, right? The way we bring the customers in, you guys don't have any S cards anymore and whatnot. So, you know, we're investing a lot of money into advertising. So, what are you guys doing differently? Are you guys willing to evolve? Okay, the pay structure, we almost, we almost there. And I'll address this: we're not going to just throw money at the problem. Some of you guys say, "Oh, bonus, 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 bonus." Throw money at the problem is not the answer, okay? It's getting to the bottom line and basically go back to basics. If we can get it done 100% the way we want it done, everybody should get a bonus. I should get a bonus, right? Everybody, not a problem. But we're gonna reward the ones that are doing better, so we're gonna have like a fast start bonus where we get to a certain number to a certain date, maybe two weeks, and then the bottom five, the bottom six, is those are gonna be able to qualify to they raise their standards as well. So we're gonna help the guys that are doing good, but we're also gonna help the bottom five. If the bottom five can't come up, right, at least to increase the productivity, then it's an issue there, you understand? So those are the things that we're paying attention, close attention, and I'll have it done by next week. It's almost done, but I also, you know, wanna make sure that it's fair for everybody. So everybody can step up, and if you do this, you get that. It's very simple. It, it, it's gonna be like black and white, pretty much. You'll be able to see it. Oh, okay, well, if I do that, that, then that's what it is. Okay, so if the store makes prop, make money, everybody makes money. That's really the way, the way it works, and the way it's supposed to work. But some of you guys are just not willing to go with the changes. They're, you're being resistant to the changes, and what's gonna happen is because everybody is changing, you're gonna be either stand out or, or basically pushed out. That's what happens when everybody doesn't go along the way we're supposed to do. So, treat the place like it's your own. If you see something, say something. I always say that. So, customer service is very important. Okay, that review app is doing wonderful things for us. Okay, I see the analytics. I see the numbers in the back. How our, our name is just coming up organically because you guys are getting so many reviews. It's not just because I want reviews. Google, that's how the algorithm works. And I know that, I'm a marketing guy. Not this giant that wants to be a dick to you guys all the time. Those reviews keep saying, Brooke from Mitsubishi, Brooke from Mitsubishi, Eric, Mr. Dizla, all this and that. Then you Google in Mr. Dizla, then Brooke from Mitsubishi comes up. You understand, those are the things that sometimes you guys don't realize, the numbers. The numbers increase. When you start moving, numbers move. Equals more sales. That's the way it works. So. Yes, social media, same way, right? You keep posting, you keep posting things. You're just coming up out of nowhere. And that's what happens. It's a little more trick to it as well if you want to take it to another level. 
Everybody can. You gotta ask. Okay, how bad you really want? I run it really, really bad. So I want to make sure that we're on the same page. We'll have everything, the bonus structure for you guys by Monday, the latest. Um, we'll have some people in the new building today. We are officially open. There's gonna be a finance manager. We have five finance managers now, and we have one added to the addition. Mr. Federico, make you feel welcome. All right, welcome to the club. Eighteen years in the business, long, long, a lot of experience. So you know. We are uh, we're excited to have him, and obviously he's gonna learn our way. <coughs> Not that he doesn't know the car business, but he's gonna learn Brooklyn Mitsubishi way, right? How you guys operate. So help him out whatever it is that he needs. Certain ways he's gonna want certain uh, certain things, and also ideas that he has. We're, we're more than welcome. So those are the things that we're doing. Uh, anything that we need to address? Anybody has an issue with the app? Yes, Ron. Can I make a? I just want to make a general statement. Um, I've been going down to service for the past few days, and yeah. the service advisors have been saying that when we sell a car, they're not being introduced to the client. Okay. So if we doing our walk lots and checking out uh, inventory, just say, hey, this is so and so, this is Chris, this is Juan, this is uh, you good know. Good point. Good point. Uh, so that way they know who the customer is, and the customer knows who they are. So that way when we're making those appointments. They know what's going on. That's all I want to say. Got it, got it. Okay, by the point, by the point. Um, that's pretty much all I have for today. All right, we still managed to get 84 appointments for today, which means by noon we'll have 100. Okay, we have enough people here to get the job done. Uh, we need to be really at 250, 275 is the real number for this month. That is a very critical month for us. All right, so we just slashed prices about 66 cars that want to blow out. We just want to blow them out, get them out of the inventory. All right. So I suggest you call your customers, some of those customers that you've had, and you know which ones they are, a little iffy, all right? I suggest you get on the phone, check that list. The sales manager is gonna give you exactly the cars, what they are, um, and those, those cars are gonna push you, right? They're already updated in the system, they're already updated on the advertising as well, and Steve, I'm gonna give you the list for PDC to make sure those cars are, gotta go. Basically, we just wanna blow them out, and, Want to get rid of them, so want to make sure you guys got that. Uh, anything else? Right Let's make it happen today. Make it happen. We're doing good with new cars. Don't forget CSI back up this year. All right, with the spin and also M Connect. Very important. Did we look into that M Connect? Yeah, we were supposed to lose yesterday. You connected, you said, right? Okay, good, good. So they very do. important if you're selling the clips cross SEs. SEs. Okay, and JP, you too. You gotta think up, you put it in your head. About 30, 2018 eclipses and about 27, 28 out of the sports in yeah. 2018. Those cars have to go. We're pretty good on inventory, guys. So we have inventory, but you know, we wanna make sure we, we, we got a big number for Mitsubishi, okay? We, we're good at Mitsubishi right now. We wanna make sure we, we start the year right. So we're gonna make every deal for you guys, and it's gonna count towards your bonus as well. Once that you finish the structure, you're gonna see. I want to take every deal because it's designed for volume. So the guys that go for the volume, they're going to make both the volume and the growth at the same time. That's how we want to make it. All right. So, George A. Anything, sir? Let's sell some cars. Sell some like cars. what we're always right. supposed to be doing. Let's sell some cars. Anything, Mark, John? Sell some cars. Sell some cars, sell some cars, sell some cars, cars baby. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, the parking. Remember, we yeah. don't need park. We cannot park in front of both buildings today, okay? Special today or any day of the week. But I want to make sure we're on point with that. All right? No employees will allowed to park in the front. It's our main, main issue that we have. So let's get going, all right? PR. It's Saturday, guys. It's Saturday. We need double vision. We need double vision today. And for showroom, Danny. For showroom. I know, I'm ready for you. You have no idea. I'm always ready. Ven acá. Un segundo, que lo hago contigo.